Fade asks, what's your fondest memory from the Tony Hawk tours? I think just getting on the Tony Hawk tour was, uh, that was... Definitely. I, I, I saw the first year that they did the gigantic skate park tour. I mm. saw it on TV. My wife goes, hey, there's, a, um, there's like skateboarding on ESPN. It's Tony Hawk tour. And I was like, oh, another contest? Yeah, what are we watching here? And I sat down and started watching. It was demos. Mm. And I was like, demos? I got to be a part of this. That's <laughs> awesome. <yeah. laughs> the premise of my skate career is the demo. Like that's I didn't make my skate career based on video parts or magazine photos. I had those things. They weren't my focus. My focus was kicking it live, city to city, your parking lot, your strip mall, your skate park, your local skate spot, doing it live in person. And so I see the gigantic skate park tour, and I go, I got to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. So uh, Tony was skating. At, he was doing a demo, like out in out in Riverside area or something, right? And I drove out to the thing, and uh, and I climbed up on top of the vert ramp. And his <laughs> demo's ending. I was like, Hey, man, how's it going? And I hadn't spoken to him. Uh, I don't think I'd spoken to him since. Maybe I think I called him when he landed a 900, mm. but I don't think I had a, had a face to face with him since '96. Uh, there was a uh, boycott. We boycotted a contest in Germany. Okay. Oh, the and, one? Oh yeah. yeah. And, uh, That's and, right. And Tony Hawk um, was sponsored by Airwalk, and I was sponsored by Airwalk, and Airwalk was the title sponsor of the contest we were boycotting. And Tony Hawk came to me and asked me to call off the boycott. And I said, I'm not, he, I can't call off the boycott. And he's like, yes, you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can. And um, I totally understood where he was coming from. Mm. And I think he understood where I was coming from, but it was a disagreement. Right. He sort of pinned it on me that I had the ability to, to call off the boycott. Right. Um, maybe I did, but I didn't see it that way. I saw it as like, we had decided that there's not going to be a contest. And he's, and Tony said, well, look, I've, I have an obligation with Airwalk, and I have an obligation to all these kids that traveled all over Europe to come mm -hmm. see us skate. So I'm going to assemble a group of skaters, and we're going to do a demo. And I said, fine, man, fine. But it was a... Um, this is all on top of the vert... Is this all on top? No, of no, this? no. This happened. This happened in Germany. Okay. In a pub. Right. Mm. That was last time he, he saw him. The last, last time, time I saw, saw him. Yeah. him. Okay. I think. Yeah. Right. So we had, right. and so we didn't really speak after that. It was like, uh, I, I basically got booted from Airwalk because mm. of the, because of the boycott. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. And the boycott so, was mainly because they didn't change the course, right? There's a lot of things. It yeah, was. Say, um, what was the main premise behind it? The main premise was that um, the promoters of skateboarding had started to move too far ahead without bringing the skaters along. Mm -hmm. They began to make decisions on our behalf and for themselves, believing that we were just clowns in their circus. Mm -hmm. And it got, it just started to move in a certain direction. We said, no, 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 no. Right. You don't have this without us. Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, I, and I mean, the way, you know, it changed, it really, the boycott was important. It really, it really changed the way skaters are treated at events is like you can't have security put their hands on us right this has to end right number one yeah. number two uh you need to provide an area for our guests for our vips for our, for industry people that is separate than the general population so that they have a place to go um in, in the europe con in the for the contests in Europe, uh, a big problem was the cigarette smoke. Mm. Oh, wow, yeah. And they're like, it's Germany. You can't tell people they can't smoke. Yeah, or like, those well, arenas would be filled yeah, with smoke. Like, well, okay. you, need to pro you need to provide an area where we are not subjected to the cigarette mm. smoke. We're, you know, athletes. Sure, <laughs> you yeah, know? sure. You know, to some it's regard. Like they're breathing hard. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's yeah. literally like L.A. smog in there. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. That's insane. Um, and you need to feed us. We have we're going out into the arena that we're performing in and buying hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> like you need to feed us. Okay. You know, you don't have an event without us. Treat us with respect. It's okay. catering. Um so it wasn't just the event in Germany. It it was all skate events. Got you. Where like it was like everyone and their brother wanted to put on a skateboard contest and they have a big enough purse, they'll show up. Right. And we said, No, we won't actually. You better treat us with respect. Right. It was a um, 
I think is a turning point, you know? Sure. And I think it was important. I think we had to do it. But um, but Tony had a point, you know? Um, kids came from all over Europe. They That was their summer vacation, mm -hmm. you know? It was a big deal. Right. And he... and. Being Tony Hawk, he can't let them down. You know, uh, yeah. no one really cared. At you know, if I don't show up, I'm sure a lot of people. Yeah, but a lot you, of you know, want to come see you. I would be uh, bummed if you didn't show up. He had become at that. This was '96. Mm -hmm. Game um, just came out. Like no, yeah. game, no, no, game, no. game's no, not. Out. No, no game's not. Out. Yeah. But he knew what was. He knew yeah. who he was yeah. and what was. Yeah, it, it was clear. the The runway ahead of him was lit up mm. for takeoff. We knew it. Everyone knew was it. Was on the comeback again. He knew it. Time. He knew where he was going, and he knew that that this could be. I don't. I don't want to make it seem like he like, like it was just self serving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But more so than what, however, it would be self serving. He felt responsible. Mm. You know, I as the way I felt responsible to my peers and the future of professional skating. I'm not gonna say he didn't care about that, but he felt responsible to. The fans and totally. the skaters, and and so respect that, yeah. yeah. And and so we had a conversation, and uh, I said, well, blah blah blah, and he said, blah blah blah, and I was like, well, we disagree, <laughs> and uh, and so I hadn't spoken to him since then. So anyway, you drive. You down. guys were probably in your mid twenties then too, huh? Uh, yeah. So we would have been twenty. I would have been twenty six, and he would have been twenty seven. I guess yeah. he's a year older than me. I think, <laughs> or year year or two so older sorry. than me. So um, so. <laughs> I drive out to Riverside. <laughs> hey, you're paying the picture, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah what is. Wow. I'm up on top of the vert ramp. He's just got done skating. He's like packing his pads in his bag. I'm like, hey, how's it going? And I was like, you know, congratulations on everything, man. Yeah, it's amazing what you, you know, what's been going on. Like, oh, thanks. I, was like, I, I saw your tour. I was like, I got to be on it. And he's like, oh, it's full. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like really fast. Wow. Quick, yeah. quick answer. Well, <laughs> think you about just it. asked him. You're like, no, I think about it. <laughs> At this point in his career, he is the gatekeeper. He is the door. He owns the door. <laughs> it's not just it's me. Bus. He's being yeah. hit up by everybody, every direction. Everyone wants a piece of him. How mm. can they get on the money train? Yeah. You know, right. how can you get on the? How can you get in the caboose? Yeah. You know, mm. man, I'll shovel the coal. What do I need to do? <laughs> you know, it's like he just Let's he's keep the like train rolling. Yeah, I was like, hey man, about that. He's like, it's full. We got everyone. Okay. We don't need anyone else. I was like, damn it. I'm going over his head. Oh, <laughs> okay. Going to ESPN. Wow. Oh, my God. I just started, I just started petitioning. <laughs> yes, I love that. <laughs> I started petitioning anyone that had a say in it. And it came back to him. And he's like, I'm not against. Yeah, he's he'd be great on the tour. He'd be great. But, you know, how many guys can we have? And, mm -hmm. and, and everyone... Everyone, ESPN, Tony, everyone, they were concerned that maybe I was a bit of a wild card. Okay. I don't, I don't know where they get this from. I don't know where this, this stuff comes from. but Marketing. Basically, I would not go away. Okay. I would not stop. Relentless. Asking. Persistent, dude. I was yeah. relentless. Yeah. They said, you could come on like the first three demos okay. of the U.S. leg. We're going to Europe first. You can't come to Europe. Mm. But the first three demos of the U.S. leg. But these were your first three to actually like this is what I changed. So, it's a little sponsor me tape. Yeah, yeah. This is what I can do. so like let's go. So, fifty two days before the first demo, mm. I'm doing a demo in Houston, Texas, and I fall and um, my toes drive into the ground and I sit on my heel. Oh, and the top of my foot buckles out. Uh, it's a very significant foot injury. It's called a Liz Frank joint fracture. Oh, I've had that. I had that. You too. have? Yeah, my left foot. It mostly happens in car accidents oh. or to ballet dancers. Ooh. Uh, was, uh, you know who else? Um, Evan Smith had that too. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow, I just it's really I've never common. heard this before. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I don't. I'm the only person. Every time I bring it up, no one knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> very, well, I want to say very cool, but it's not cool. It's not. <laughs> it sucks. Not cool. Yeah, yeah. So my prognosis: I saw a, spe a foot specialist, um, and I was told, "Well, you're never going to skate again." And you're probably never going to walk right again. And you're probably going to have deformity in your foot. And, but we won't know any of this until we cast your foot for a month and let the swelling go down. And then we'll do another MRI. And then we'll probably have to do, then we'll have to cast it again. And then we'll 
at some point we'll schedule a surgery. We're going to put some sort of mesh screening kind of, I don't know what it was, some sort of like uh, Vietnam era sounding kind of uh, <laughs> situation in your foot. And then, then we'll cast you again. You'll probably be in a cast on and off for over a year. Damn. And then we'll know what your situation is. Jesus. And I said, oh, no, man. I'm going on the Tony Hawk tour <laughs> in 52 days, bro. You'll work with me here. He's like, there's no working. He's like, you're not skating. And he put me in a cast. And um, when Ann came to pick me up from the doctor, I was sitting on the curb in a cast with, like, tears. Yeah. And I was like, it's over. It was just like, it's over. So there was no surgery? You didn't get any surgery, though? No. Okay. I was, I had a, uh, the injury was fresh. They did an MRI. They said, it's very significant. You're fucked. Mm. Uh, go home for a couple weeks. Then we're going to do another MRI. Once the swelling goes down, then we're going to schedule a surgery. Okay. So I got home. I'm in a cast. I'm in a cast for about two days. And I told Ann to go to the hardware store <laughs> and get me a saw. <laughs> <laughs> Where he was going with that, I yeah. started like, I'm cutting this shit off. <laughs> Cast was off. Then I sent her out for a, um, a stationary bike. Okay. Got stationary. Because my foot only hurt if I flexed my toes. But if I kept my foot flat, I didn't have any pain. Interesting. So I figured I could just, I, don't want, I didn't want the muscles to atrophy. I just ride this bike. So I rode a bike for hours really yeah just rode the bike and then i was like i have nothing else to do i'm only focused on getting better then i sent her out to buy free weights a whole free weight bench and everything i mm. never i never lifted weights before that and then i had this weight bench i was lifting weights and riding a bike <laughs> and uh and just mentally thinking my foot's okay You're gonna get there my yeah. foot's okay and then uh john lucero called me and he said oh uh, yeah mike uh yeah we got this black label uh, label kills video you need to be in it i was like I don't know, dude. Like, my foot's really fucked. And then I'm going on the Tony Hawk tour. That'll be the first time I skate. He's like, you can't spare a couple days before the tour? Like, at least a warm-up for the tour. And I was like, ah, okay. So so 52 days was the Tony Hawk tour. 50 days was I started filming the Black Label video. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, you know, I... Whether I was hurt or not, my plan for the Black Label video was to make a video. I think we talked about this already, mm, right? Yeah, I think about so. Me pushing. Pushing around, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, that was yeah, my plan. That's, right. that's what I was going to do, Any, no matter what. But because my foot was injured, it made it, yeah, that's what you're going to do. Okay. You know? <laughs> okay. So uh, I filmed the Black Label video part, and then uh, I got on a plane. I flew to uh, Dallas, Texas. Got off the plane. Didn't know what was going to happen. Rolled into... The, Got on the bus. Everyone was like, "Hey, Mike, <laughs> <laughs> don't he's, fight me. He's here. <laughs> he's here." Uh, went into the first demo, and it was all out. Laid it all on the line, man. One hundred percent. Had a good <laughs> best. Some of the best game I ever did in my life. Wow! It, I just was an explosion of energy. I did tricks. That I had never even done before, like first try, just it was just <laughs> flying. I was, it's what I was intended to do in my life, like it was what I was meant to do, was be on the gigantic skate park tour doing demos. Yeah, it's it's my it's everything I'd worked for. You had you didn't even try to skate before that, except for the pushing around on the not many never, no. I was afraid. When did you start to not feel pain when you were bending your toes? I feel you, pain now. I feel pain now. I. I didn't. I had to go on the tour. You never got. You never went back to the doctor. No. Never. He, well, I called him. I said, "Hey, I cut the cast off." He's like, "I'll never see you again." <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I never, never had the. There's foot other lifting. doctors out there. That's I like, never. Yeah, but I was just like, a, I, dude, that's I was on a, my own path. That's wow. a fractured that. If you don't get that fixed, it, it just does. Yeah, you're fucked. Kind of. If I didn't get mine, there was like, yeah, you're. You have to do this and able to do what you what, want to do. What did you have to do to get your face? I had surgery. I had to get pins put in and then... Mesh? They, no, no mesh. Okay. Just, nah, uh, that, mine was the Vietnam era. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were like, they fused the bones together mm -hmm. and then I couldn't do it with the, the pins in there. So they took it out and it got better. But yeah, they were just like, dude, you, you have to get surgery on this. So you just and never, I can't believe that you didn't get you surgery. You did your shit and you went out there that. and killed it. You should have got a stationary bike. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and my, a, and a dad's, my dad's an ER doctor. 
You know what I mean? I went to two different yeah. doctors, and, and you're you're a beast. You're amazing. <laughs> 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 I, That's gnarly. I just I, I he didn't have it. I I I, I visualized yeah. this. I visualized the tour. Right. I visualized. Right. I knew I was going to be there, and I knew I was going to skate. I didn't skate at any kind of high level up until the second the first demo started. Oh, okay. and the second I rolled in, it it was I was in my zone. <laughs> so amazing. And and man, I I just and I and and three demos in they're like yeah you're you're here to stay bro i knew um, it I and, uh, and, I, and there was a point where tony was like uh like you know like he's like dude like go like, yeah. do it man like you know it's just like uh like you know they would announce him last like, and tony ah! but at a certain point he was like I, i'm gonna go before you like you right because i was just like so intense like i'd be on the bus and they'd all be leaving the bus and he'd be like <laughs> Okay, you go last, like you know, Tony Hawk <laughs> and Mike V. Yeah. Yeah. Whoosh, here he comes. Like, Get yeah. the fuck out of my way, <laughs> you know. Who was on that tour? Uh, there's so many heavy hitters. I mean, we did so many different tours in that vein, but um, I can't. I I don't want to leave anyone out. Right. But some of the names are Costin, mm. Steve Barra, uh, Jason Ellis <laughs> was on that tour. Um, Matt Hoffman, Rooftop. Uh, so of course Tony. Let's see. Who else? Chris Markovich was on that tour. Mm. Bam would on people come? Oh, Bam. Bam, Bam was on that tour. Would people yeah. kind of come in and out as well? Yeah, this there was, was a long tour. You some guys like, didn't like. Some guys didn't do the whole thing. Yeah, Once yeah, I was okay. on, I was I was like were, lifer. Like I'm in. Right. Like any demo, I'm there. You How know? many did you do? I did like however many we however many we did. I don't remember. It was a couple many, years. Many? Couple, years, a, couple uh, years. Tony Hawk tour tattoo at all? Uh some scars. <laughs> some scars. Um, I still can't believe that you never got your foot fixed and you still feel pain to this day. Oh, yeah, it's a problem. Does the weather affect it? Uh, par several parts of my body are affected by weather. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's super gnarly. Yeah, I have an uh, ankle, shoulder, my foot. Um, Jeez. Yeah. Okay. I can uh, relate with that story that I didn't go to the doctor when I broke my ankle. And mm. It healed fine, and I'm not having any. I haven't had any, you know. Day one, similar story. <sighs> oh, yes. Yeah. Well, you know, it's. Um, I told the doc. I said, look. I said, look. I'm unlike anyone you've ever worked with. <laughs> I was like, I'm meet, a beast. meet me halfway. <laughs> well, I was. I mean, I was. I was in a season of my life that, uh, if you could hold on to that, man. I mean, it was just like I. It was, you know everything fire at, yeah just everything was was right there yeah and uh and i just knew it I, I told the doctor like hey man just work with me just work with me and he's like you don't he's like son you have no idea what happened what you've done to your foot and i was like it doesn't matter i'm going on the tour so help me go on the tour right he's like, i will i can i cannot participate in you destroying your life wow you know? So, you know, sometimes you got to go it alone. <laughs> I tell you what, though, man, sometimes those doctors' bedside manners, it's like the first thing that they tell you, you're never going to skate again. Yeah. It's like, dude, of course. Come on. Of course. Of really? Course. I've heard That's it a few times. Bad. You know? I've heard That's it a bad. few times. But then, some, but then there are other doctors, you know. Like when I broke my arm, it was, uh, you know, doctor worked with me, and he's mm -hmm. just like, ah, oh, man, we'll get you back. You yeah. Know, you're doing everything you ever did. Exactly. You know? So, you know. Us skaters are different breeds, man. Right. So I think yeah. we're walking when we shouldn't be walking. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel so, like those doctors, like, they understand, like, you broke your shit, but they don't understand the rehab part of it. You know? They don't understand, They're like, how we shit. are built as skateboarders. Yeah, totally. And the and passion behind that. Like, no, dude, like, I'm going. Like, yeah. I need to do it. Most I'll people, hey, to be honest, most people, if they get hurt like that, they usually just stop regardless. So they'd assume. That you're probably not going to do that again. Yeah, that's but true. like, no, dude, this is something different. It's yeah, really yeah. Hard. yeah. Uh, when I when I broke my ankle, which was really bad, I was 35 and significant break to the ankle. Um, Tom Green also broke his ankle, like oh, wow. within days of me breaking my ankle, same break, huh. and he broke his ankle skating like a reissue of my Pal Peralta board. <laughs> oh, whoa. so I'm somehow attached to his <laughs> ankle breaking. <laughs> Um, and, and, and dude, it, the, the rehab and the physical therapy and getting back, uh, by the way, when I broke my ankle, that was the end of my Ollie. Uh, it would just, that's the end of it, man. Back I mean, ankle? Yeah. It'd be no front front, but hmm. it'd be, that's like 2005. And, uh, you know, I could Ollie really high 
but after I did my shoulder in in the mid '90s and then my ankle in the you know 2005, mm. it was the end of it. it. Was like your arm plays a big role in the yeah, ollie, for sure, and, yep. and your front foot has to roll so that it you does. can ollie. And yeah. my front foot doesn't roll anymore, wow. so that was the end of my ollie. I mean, I fake it, and I I can still all you know. It's just not what it was. <laughs> yeah. It's it's BS. But um but I remember like it was so hard. It was such a tough process coming back from that. And I remember I saw Tom Green after like a lot of time had gone by. I go, Well, how's your ankle, man? He's like, it's perfectly fine. I go, Really? Oh man. He goes, Mike, all I have to do is walk. <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> I don't I'm not a pro skater. I don't have to worry about what you're worrying about. And I was like, oh yeah, okay, yeah. It's true. Like, you yeah. can still be that? funny with a broken ankle. Yeah, yeah. 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 Walk. yeah, I just have to walk. I don't have to I don't have to do what you have to do, you know. But I think uh, so anyway, um long story long, uh yeah. when people say long story short, it's really it's really a long yeah, story. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um yeah, but I think that you know that's kind of like my my memory of the Tony Hawk tour uh, that sticks out the most is like kind of like what I had to go through to get on the tour, you know? Right, right, right. And then when right. I got on the tour, I, I just owned it. You, you were know? just going, yeah. yeah. I love that, man. I love that, that right. you were just hell-bent, dead set on getting on there. Mind over matter, No man. matter what, you had, no matter what yeah. you had to do. And then, then the real kicker is they were so nervous about me coming and wild card and this guy's could be trouble we don't know what we're getting with this guy it was on that tour that i got in the fight in the parking lot with the four guys oh that was the one. so it happened on that tour huh. i'm here i'm here trying to prove that i'm professional and i'm like <laughs> <you are. laughs> i'm responsible <laughs> and, I, and i put on a great show well you know what, so, city, what city was that in uh, Seattle. Okay. So uh, to be honest, man, I never watched any of those Tony Hawk tour things, but I saw that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that wasn't that wasn't part of the tour. <laughs> that, was, so, that, was, that was Mike yeah. being yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so that ha- that fight happens, mm. and I get back to the hotel room, and I'm just like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked off this tour. <laughs> I am every I am everything they said I was. Or they believed I was. Right. I just I just made it all true in their minds. And I'm like, I'm I'm toast. I'm toast. And uh, I was just I couldn't even sleep that night. I was just like, I can't believe this. Well, how did this all transpire? Uh weren't they messing with the like Yeah <laughs> just being dicks? Four dudes picked a fight with us because we were skaters. <sighs> And they got their mouth shut. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and the story, I told you. Right? Look, look, look I, t- I told you what I had to go through to get on that tour. Yes, and I told you when the tour started that I was in the zone. And I'm coming out of a motherfucking Seven Eleven at two in the morning, and you're gonna start talking shit to me. Right, right. Look at the scabs and scars, bro. Like, who do you, you know, what? Use your mind. You should have just told the ankle story, like how yeah. I got, this yeah. is how I got here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm going to kick you in the head with a Liz Frank joint injury. You know? like, like, anyway. That fight is iconic, dude. Yeah. It's, pretty, it's pretty iconic. Okay, but besi- besides that. Besides that's not that. even a violent dude. That's besides, pretty... besides that, it just, it's, it's, it's another night on tour. It's something that happened. It just happened to get caught on video. Sure, sure. Typical Tuesday night. Yeah. But I'm in my hotel room sweating it out. Like I'm toast, man. Like I'm. They're gonna. I'm gonna wake. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down the there in the lobby in the morning, and it's gonna be bags packed. You're going home. Come down to the lobby, and the first person I see is Tony Hawk, and I'm just like, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> and he's like, that's the greatest video I've ever seen. In my life. <laughs> yeah, like, and I walk out into the lobby, and all of the execs that were on the like the cameraman, the executive people, the crew, everyone that's on the tour, they're just like. The class. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, somebody shut up these people that talk smack to skaters. You know, amazing. Like, and 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 I should have, I should have, let it be at that moment. Mm. I should have confiscated the tape, and and been like. <laughs> <laughs> When I saw the fanfare, I was like, run it. <laughs> run it. And, and to this day, that's... It's a fine piece of video. <laughs> <laughs> Some of your finest work, dude. <laughs> that's why people love you. Yeah, that's amazing. My finest. It's Mike B's greatest head. We love Bro. it. I would, say, I would say that in the proper context, skaters, the skateboard world, 
what we know at the time, it's, it is what it is. Mm. But once it gets onto YouTube and into general population, and it's, con it's considered one of the very first ever viral videos. It was it, on the internet it, before YouTube. Yeah. Totally. Then it becomes a different beast. It's not, right. it's, when skaters saw it, they're like, well, fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> When other people see it, they're like, <laughs> right, right, right. It's just like too many, too, too much noise. Well, it's taken you know? out yeah. of context. They yeah, don't know what's behind sure. it. You know, yeah. it's just this video. Oh, it's yeah. like skater right. fucking, you know, yeah. Like, and of course, yeah. it's not something I really even. Really, people ask me about all the time. I every now and then I'll, I'll amuse them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but generally, I don't talk about it. I don't really care to talk about it because I, I don't like to. Um, I don't like to uh, make it, it. Yeah, I don't like to make it seem right. like it's something that I value in any way. Sure, yeah. but. In the proper context, it it, it is it, it was this thing that was that had its energy and it was it was cool. We knew yeah, yeah, yeah. we knew yeah. mm -hmm. you know we knew what it was. And the fact that you're on that tour and then you, you're literally getting like a yeah the, the yeah, smoke yeah, clap yeah, yeah. that turns into like a standing <laughs> ovation. But but, but really the, my ass. the reason for bringing it up <laughs> is because of the concern that that could happen and yes. then it does right it's right. like i didn't have to by the way i could have just kept walking you know <laughs> yeah. but i was like you said what you say you know? <laughs> one of those moments yeah like, i don't should i turn around uh, Fuck. yeah my foot hurts i want to beat your ass <laughs> yeah. i bet that was actually another kind of relief to the tour also is like you had this like encounter but everybody had your back you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, this well, they finally had, they had my back. Yeah, you know that was I mean? really positive. But yeah. but but really, the fight didn't start with me. The fight started with Alex Chalmers and our bus driver. Mm. I had their back. Okay, mm. the, right. these guys engaged right. these other people first, and I was like, you, mm -hmm. you know, no, 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 you, you want you want to mess with somebody, you mess with me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like right. they're like, okay, dude, you're gonna fight all four of us. It's like exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly that's what, what I'm, I'm here for. <laughs> yeah. I can see this dude. I don't think I remember seeing this. You don't, bro. Little no. What have we done? Now we just <laughs> dude, like, you like anyone who's never seen it is now gonna watch it. Oh, it let's right make, now. we're go gonna ahead. make it go viral again. One more time. Oh, just, man, really? listen, <laughs> the fact the fact is, you had a great time on that Tony Hawk tour. Yes. I had a great time. That was Definitely. it. You know. Yeah. Two years that thing ran. I think so. I don't remember. We 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 it, we did, a, did another tour, a secret skate park tour. After yeah, the that. secret skate park tour. Did you guys ever? You guys went? Did, was it just in the U.S. or did you guys go overseas as well? Um, I I, I started from that time on. I started doing all kinds were, of stuff with Tony. Okay, I would go okay. to like we went to South Africa together to do a skate park opening. Mm. Like I I kind of like. Uh, I did a lot of stuff with them. Where is that like button right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's Subscribe. over to, yeah, it's on your it's on left. Right. No, on, on left. your left. Hey, yeah. hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, please. <laughs> the, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of like Oh, it's there. like right here? Kind of. Like yeah, right there? Yeah, the subscribe's like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. <laughs>